Hi guys, how you going? Sparring DK here, and I just wanted to bring to your attention something that you may have been looking uh, through the internet for. Uh, what I have discovered is uh, the key player attributes that affect the overalls for each position within FIFA. Now, what the hell am I talking about? Well, uh, there's training in the game now, and uh, I've actually stumbled across an algorithm, uh, a pattern if you would call it, uh, of, of which key statistics for each position to increase their overall rating. Now, I want to make this very clear at the start. This will, this will help you train your players to help them achieve their maximum overall rating. What it won't do is uh, you need to be very, very careful because by overtraining, if you've uh, seen any of Bama Striker 9's tutorials, you can see that if you overtrain them, you can stunt their physical growth and then they will not achieve their rating. But if you don't care about physical growth and you just want to try and push a player as far as you possibly can, if you've seen any of my World's Best Player series, uh, you can see some of those players have got to 97 rated overall. If you haven't seen them, go back and check them out. We've got some crazy players there. So what am I talking about? What have I come up with? Uh, I've, I'm going to really try something here. I'm, uh, I'm having a crack with uh, some OBS software and uh, hopefully I can bring a presentation to you right now. So let's go into the first part and this is the player key stats. Now what you've got here on the left hand side is uh, um, I've actually done this using the creator player. So uh, left wingers, right wingers and central midfielders, right wing backs, left wing backs. You aren't actually able to create those kind of players in the creation center. So I wasn't able to test those. Uh, if you have a way of doing that, please do let me know in the comments down below and we can try and figure it out for those guys. But anyway, let me go through this little uh, algorithm that I've worked out and see if this makes sense for you. So let's take a striker for instance. Uh, basically, I've gone through and I've worked out all the numbers and all of these numbers, if you add them all up, equal 100 overall. It's the same for left forward, right forward, cam, left mid, right mid, uh, CDMs, left back, right back, and uh, your big center backs. Goalkeepers are a different story, but I'll get to those guys a little bit later. So how did I come up with these uh, numbers? Let me show you. So if I uh, bring up the creator player, you can see here we've got Kay Lambert. At the moment, he's a striker and he is one over all. So if I go into this menu now and uh, go across to his categories, we go into attack and they're all on one. Now, if I look at the, uh, the, the, the spreadsheet that I've done up the top here, you can see finishing is at 18, heading accuracy is at 10, short passes at five and volleys are at two. Now, what does this mean? What this means is if this statistic is at 99, it is worth this amount of their overall rating. So therefore, if I go to finishing, and I crank this all the way up to 99, just finishing. And that's it. That's the only stat he's got. And I accept that. And then I back out. Apply and exit. He should be 18 overall. Or 19. Is it 18 or 19? 19. Okay, so he's gone up 18 points in overall for having 99 finishing. So if I go back in and I actually take all of the statistics there that do have numbers that I have in my control. Uh, so we go into attack. Heading accuracy is another stat that works for a striker. So I'm going to take that one up to 99 as well. So that's worth 10% of his overall. Short passing, we're going to take that one up to 99 because that has a stat. Uh, volleys as well is required. So at 99 volleys, it will give him plus 2 in overall to his rating. You can see there that defensive uh, statistics have no influence on him. Uh, if we go into skill, we can see there that his dribbling is affected uh, with training. So we'll increase that one to 99 and we'll go down to ball control and we'll increase that one to 99. So hopefully this is starting to make a little bit of sense. Uh, I've gone through and done this with all of the players for testing. I actually haven't gone through the actual training process just yet. Uh, I do intend to do that in the future, but I've done a lot of simulations, a lot of testing with Bama Striker 9, and uh, this is kind of where I've come up with these sort of scenarios. Now, you can see here, I'm going to turn strength up to 99 because it has a 5 rating, but you'll notice that it doesn't have a color. I will cover that shortly, so uh, yeah, don't worry about that one just yet. Oops, I forgot the long shots. So long shots are part of an overall, only 3%. Uh, so we'll increase that one to 99. 
And then we'll go down to his movement abilities. Uh, so acceleration is f affecting his overall. Uh, so we'll increase that one to 99. His sprint speed has to go up as well. His agility, it doesn't matter. Uh, his reactions need to go up to 99. So you're starting to see a bit of a pattern here. So at full, full 99 for those key statistics, and we'll go down to his mentality as well. Uh, technical awareness is actually interceptions. Attack position, that is affected. So that's 13 points for 99. Right, so that's all of his stats in that first line for a striker at 99. Let's go and have a look at what he comes out as. Apply and exit. And bang, you have a 99 rated striker. So none of those other statistics affect his overall rating. That's not to say that they're not valuable statistics. If you have a striker with zero balance, he's going to be shit to play with. So those statistics do help in the overall feel of the player, but they actually don't affect his overall rating. So if you go through these lists uh, position by position, you can see that I've come up with different numbers and they all come out to 100. I've tested all those and these are the numbers uh, that you need to train. So why have I come up with this? All right, let's 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 go into the next section. Let's show you some training and how to train your players. Okay, this is the training window. And uh, what I've actually worked out here, I've put in every single possible training uh, scenario that you can do. And uh, I've gone through all of them. We'll cover this shortly. I'll go through it nice and slowly. And uh, hopefully you can follow along. So let's go to our striker. Let's find ourselves a striker here in the training. Um, so we'll just grab this young kid from the youth squad. Okay, so if I look across these here, uh, I've come up with colors. If you'd like me to maybe put this spreadsheet up somewhere so you can actually have a look at it and utilize it, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do for you. Uh, so let's go, striker. So uh, the first section for dribbling is in red and you can see there that dribbling affects uh, his overall ball control affects his overall. So you want something that uh, does dribbling and you want something that does ball control. Now the best one for it, and this is for all the players I've found, uh, is beat your man, which is the hardest one. I mean, this is purely on a, a simulation. Uh, if you were to do the, the abilities yourself, if you're happy with doing the hard ones, that's fine. If you want to try and do the medium ones, well then you've got the uh, speed dribbling option. It covers all of those bases as well. So if we go across to dribbling, and we look for the beat your man uh, training ability and we click that one. So you can see there that it covers dribbling ball control but it also affects his stamina and his agility. Now stamina and agility aren't going to affect his overall rating but that's fine. You definitely want the stamina because you want a player that doesn't get tired and agility is going to help them on the ball. Okay, so next we want uh, to go to his next option. I've written them down on the left hand side here. Uh, so if I keep scrolling down and we come to passing. So short passing uh, affects his overall. So I'm going to use the El Rondo. So he gets short passing and he's actually going to get some vision. So we're going to go back in. We're going to pick up the striker again. And we're going to go across to passing. And we're going to give him the El Rondo training. And that's going to increase his vision and his short passing. So the short passing as he goes up. Uh, from training will increase his overall rating. All right, what have we got next for your striker? All right, so if we scroll a bit further down and we find shooting, uh, so you can see there that headers um, affect his overall and so do volleys and so do attack positioning. So if you do the headers and volleys training, it does heading accuracy, volleys, and attack pos positioning. So that one's perfect for a striker. Uh, so we'll go across, we'll pick up our striker once again. And we'll go across to shooting. And we'll pick the headers and volleys training. So you can see a bit of a pattern going on here. So, all right. And we've got a couple more slots if we want to try and use five spaces on him. Uh, okay. So the next one here I've selected is curled free kicks. So that is going to take curve and free kick accuracy, which has no uh, impact on his overalls. But it's going to do long shot training. So let's go in and pick that one. Uh, across to set pieces and we're going to go to curled free kicks. 
So that's four slots, and then you'll see the last one is the stutter step penalty. So this is going to take care of his finishing, uh, and it's also going to give him some penalty ability, which doesn't affect his overall, uh, but having someone that can take penalties, especially when you get into a Champions League final, and it comes down to the penalties, you want people to conceal the fucking deal. All right, so cross the set pieces, uh, down to stutter step penalties. Right, so we've got a striker with five slots worth of training. Every single one of those abilities, if they level up, uh, will affect his overall rating. So now, let's see. Simulate the training. And bang. There we go. Straight up, plus 50. Now he's low rated, so he's going to grow a lot quicker. Uh, but you can see the head all of those abilities that do affect his overall will increase his uh, overall uh, experience bar, if that's what you want to call it, and uh, help progress him a lot quicker. Now, I will, I will say, I can't stress this enough, if you do overtrain doing this, you may stunt their physical growth. Now, what is the problem with the physical growth? Well, you can't train strength. You can't train acceleration or sprint speed, and you can't train reactions. You need that physical growth on your players to get them up to the maximum rating. If you have a player that only has 40-odd strength, and uh, especially for a striker that needs strength to get to his highest overall rating, he will not grow, and he will be, you know, he'll be an incredible player, but he'll probably be about 80 to 85 rated. So when you're out there scouting for youth talent or even just looking for a player that you may want to bring into the club, uh, someone like a Pogba or someone like that that's, you know, 23, 24, has pretty decent strength, you want to look at these key abilities, strength, acceleration, sprint speed, and reactions. Because all of these attributes, other than for, uh, what is it, a CDM here, doesn't require the sprint speed and that sort of thing. But all of the other ones require these statistics within their build-up uh, to actually make them reach their maximum overall. And if you can find a physically strong player that maybe you can leave and not train for a few seasons so that their physicals do grow to that level that you require and then start training them, that's how you get these players to their maximum fucking possibility. You know, you don't want to stunt their growth. I can't, I can't stress that enough. Do not stunt their growth or they will not get to the level that you want them to get to. Let them grow a little bit by themselves uh, without training so that those physicals start generating and uh, probably around the 22 to 23 age group, their physicals have sort of started to max out. Um, hopefully you can get some nice 99 speeded uh, wingers and that sort of thing and then just go absolutely crazy on their training. And that's how you get the world's greatest players. Now, the only other thing I do need to cover is the goalkeepers. Uh, so if we scroll down, I will go down to goalkeeping here. Uh, we'll just simulate through this a little bit so I can get to the goalkeepers. All right, so the goalkeepers only have two key training attributes to worry about, and you can train all of them. The only one you can't train is reactions. So if you're out scouting away for a goalkeeper, try and find a goalkeeper that has really high reactions uh, and that way, you'll be able to train them into one of the world's best goalkeepers. Uh, there's, there's not a lot to say on the goalkeepers. You can pretty much train them from the start, providing they've got the high reactions already. If not, try and let them grow a little bit by themselves until they get those high reactions. And uh, then you can just train them. You only need two slots to get a crazy-ass goalkeeper. Uh, the best goalkeeper in the world is possible for anyone at home. All you have to do is use the Youth Academy, go out, search for a goalkeeper that has a high potential, uh, 90 to 94, potential to be special, get him into the club, let him grow a little bit in reactions, preferably probably some jumping if possible, and then just go nuts on the throws and drop kicks, silver, and the one-on-one -on -one goalkeeping gold. And that goalkeeper by the age of probably 22, 23, will be at a 90-plus goalkeeper. Uh, there's there's not a lot else to say. I just really had to bring this to the table for you guys uh, Let me know in the comments make sure you get this uh, out there and around the community let everybody know what's going on um, Because I think this is valuable. I think this is valuable. We just don't overtrain and uh, take these You know key notes on board and you will be able to create some of the world's best players yourself in your youth academies and and even with real players um that's it. That's all I've got to bring to the table. So here's the goalkeeper training. I've just trained him on the two. And uh, those two, well, it was a pretty piss poor effort there on this simulation training. But he will grow very, very, very quickly, uh, providing he'll get to at least uh, an 80 to 85 himself without 
reactions and then the reactions are what's going to carry him to the next level that's all i've got for you please leave me comments down below if you'd like some more in-depth stuff on this and if you'd like this spreadsheet uh posted somewhere so that you can have a look at it properly let me know in the comments and i'll see what i can do for you thanks very much for watching i'm sparring dk it's five o'clock somewhere and you have a good one